Hello everyone, welcome to another Kentico training video. In this video, I'll be showcasing how to create or update an email contact list. Email contact lists are a list of contacts which can be targeted for email marketing campaigns. These lists will usually include basic information such as first name, last name, and email address. For this video, we'll be using Country Visions as an example. Let's say that they have an upcoming email marketing campaign and wish to create a list of contacts to target. The first step is to open Microsoft Excel, and we're going to select blank workbook. Once that loads up, we want to add a few basic headers, first name, last name, and email. Let's say that on our list we have someone by the name of Coley Jennison, with the email example cj at this list isn't specific to just individuals. Let's say that we also have a farm. Let's call it Jenison Farms, and we'll put that in both the first name as well as the last name. And then let's say the email address is examplefarmcj at landolakes.com. Perfect. Our Excel is now ready to be saved. We'll go into File, Save As, and for this example, I have already created a spot on my desktop in which to save these email contact lists. I'm calling it contact list. Uh, you may have a different spot. Uh, it's uh, important to just have a folder dedicated to email contact lists just to keep things organized. So I will name this example contact list 2.13.2018. And the reason I am including the date in this file is for when we have multiple contact lists in this folder and I'm trying to keep things organized. And so once I have the naming correct, I'm going to go ahead and click the save as type. I'm going to go and find CSV right here. And at last, I'm going to save it. Perfect. Now that the file is saved, we can now import it to Kentico. Let's go back to our instance of Kentico. And by clicking on this Kentacle gear icon over here, we'll open up the search bar, which will type contact management. And we'll simply click on the contact management link. Now it is extremely important that once here, we select sites and we go down to the appropriate site, which is country vision in this example. Once we're here, we want to go into the contact import tab, where it will ask us if we want to import a CSV file. We do. So let's select the file. We'll go into our folder where we put it and we'll select the file we just created and we'll hit open. As you can see, the file has now been imported. Now we want to map the fields. What that means is that we have the header of first name and we want to say this maps to, well, the first name column. We have our header of last name, this maps to last name. And we have our header of email, this maps to email address. And once all that is set, we can now change the contact name, the contact group name that is, and we'll simply call this example contact and hit import contacts. As you can see, we have process two contacts right here. Um, and we could double check this by going into our contact groups where we now have example contact. We'll click this green edit button go into the contacts tab and we can see that we now have two contacts here. Alright, let's say that we wish to update this list um, for two reasons. One, we forgot to put in a contact information. Also, we accidentally misspelled Coley Jennison's name. So what are we going to do? Well, the first step is to go back into our CSV file. So opening this back up, Let's say uh, we want to add in someone named Jamie Wong with example jw at landolakes.com. And we also have a slight typo. Uh, Coley's first name isn't spelled like this. In fact, her first name is not even Coley. It's Megan. And so we'll put in Megan there. And we'll go ahead and hit the save as button. And so now... Uh, Let's pretend that we are making these updates on the very next day. So February 14th. I'm going to go ahead and save it 
as 14, just so I can keep track of when my most, most updated file is. I'll hit save here. And once that is saved, we can now go back to Kentico, click the Kentico gear icon, go back into contact management, click on this link, and once again, let's make sure that we are on the appropriate site, which is Country Vision in this example. And then we'll go to Contact Import and we'll select the file once more. And then be sure to select our most recent file, which we now know because of the date. And now instead of creating a new contact group, we're simply going to select Import Contacts into an existing contact group, which should give us the, a drop down over here that allows us to select example contact. And once again, we will map our fields. First name goes to first name, last name goes to last name, and email goes to email address. And once all that is completed, we can simply hit import contacts in order to import them. Perfect. And so now, uh, just to double check, let's go back to our contact groups. Go into example contact, go into contacts, and we can see that Coley's first name was indeed updated uh, to Megan, and Jamie Wong was added as a new contact. Now, I just want to make note that Kentico uses email addresses as the unique identifier. Therefore, if we were to add a new email address, then we would add a new contact. However, if we were to simply uh, update the information attached to an existing email address, that will simply update the contact information. That is why we were able to add Jamie Wong as a new contact, but when I uh, changed Coley's name to Megan, it did not add a new contact and instead simply updated this old contact with the example CJ email address already present. And so now that we understand how to add and update uh, contacts into our contact groups, we can now run a successful marketing campaign. Thank you for your time and I hope to see you in the next training video.